Chapter 3, Parabellum, is the sequel to John Wick Chapter 2, the third installment in the John Wick franchise. Whether or not this is the last one, we don't know. John Wick Chapter 3, or as I'm going to refer to it in this review, is John Wick 3, just because it's easier. John Wick 3 picks up right after the events of John Wick 2. John Wick is now on the run. He's got a $14 million contract out on him. He is excommunicado. He killed somebody on continental grounds, and that's a no-no. So now he's got to escape from New York as fast as he can. And will he get any help? That's the question. Now, the John Wick series for me is something that I really didn't feel like was going to be that successful. I saw the trailer for it. And then I totally forgot that the movie even existed until I bought it on Blu-ray. I blind bought it. I was like, all right, let's get this dumb thing over and done with. And it ended up being a really, really entertaining, really unique action film that knew what it was. And honestly, Chapter 2, for me, I thought was a bit better than 1, despite not having the emotional crux that the first one had. I liked 2's world building more, as well as playing off the fact that it knows what the series is. John Wick 3 just takes everything to an entirely different level. This movie is bonkers. It is insanity. It is over-the-top ridiculous. Uh, but again, it knows that it is that. And that's the best thing about these John Wick movies. They know what they are. They're not Oscar winning movies. They're not going to have great acting, great plots, great villains. They're just there to entertain you. They feel like action movies of yesteryear. They know what they are. They know that they're this ridiculously over the top action movie that you can just kick your feet up, shove some popcorn in your face and have a ridiculously good time. Because I mean, honestly, you're not going into these movies for acting. Your lead actor is Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves still plays John Wick. He's actually really good as John Wick, and Keanu Reeves is not a good actor at all. The thing that works for Keanu Reeves, the selling point with me, is that he can do a lot of his own stunts, and he's really good. He's a really good physical actor, but when it comes to dialogue, you have to admit, his line delivery is not that great at all. But luckily, John Wick is a man of few words. He is the boogeyman. If you awaken John Wick, you awaken the boogeyman. He will unleash hell on you. And that is exactly what happens in John Wick 3. All hell, literally, like, all hell is unleashed in this movie. I have heard complaints that John Wick 2 was a little bit slow. It kind of took its time. That's something I personally really loved about John Wick 2. But if that is something that concerns you, this movie is straight up just madhouse bonkers full of action there are there are definitely some downtime scenes in this i mean you have to have some downtime in these movies it can't it can't just be an entire 130 minute shoot 'em up fest it can't be like that but but there is some downtime and, and you have to take the time to actually try and tell somewhat of a story even though it's not that great of a story and we're not going to these movies for stories so i give the movie props for that it does what it sets out to do but I gotta say, man, these action sequences in this one, I think that this this is probably why this is my favorite John Wick film. Because this one has the best action sequences in all three of the films. The action sequences are just so goddamn entertaining. Yeah, they might feel a bit long, but this is the one John Wick movie where I was like, I don't want this to stop. This can keep going on as long as it wants. Make this movie two and a half hours. A couple of action scenes at the very beginning of this movie. One involving a book, and then one involving knives. There, that is the type of action you are in for. And, be, and that action works so well because the fight choreography is also really well. That is something that these movies don't really get enough credit for. Look at the fight choreography in, in these movies. You have to learn a lot of martial arts moves. Keanu Reeves has to learn a lot of... Has to learn how to do a lot of stunts. Has to learn a bunch of different fight moves. Has to learn a bunch of different martial arts. All of that comes into play. Whoever the fight choreographer is for these movies is flat out genius. And the stunts, I'm pretty sure Keanu Reeves does a lot of his own stunts. Fight choreography is part of stunt work, but the other aspects of stunts really done really well. When people are getting tossed into stuff and then ricocheting off stuff, that's that's the type of stunt work that these movies really thrive on. And this movie just does it to a T. If there was ever an Oscar for best stunts, John Wick Chapter 3 would definitely get. My buddy walked out of the theater, he's like, dude, the cinematography in that was great. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? Yeah, you are right. Because cinematography isn't just 
a landscape shot of a city at night or something. No, it's more than that. It's what's in range of the camera. It's what the camera is doing, you know? It's whether or not you turn the camera that 360 degree angle. It's the mise on scene. It's what you see that's in front of you. And the way the camera shifts to different angles during these well choreographed fight scenes it really adds a different perspective to these fight scenes even though we're not seeing it from somebody else's perspective it's from a different angle and i think that that adds a lot to these action scenes in this movie it's a lot of long i wouldn't say one take but there are a few long shots following a couple of characters and i thought that that was actually really brilliant well done movie but my one issue with john wick 3 that sets it apart from being an A-plus movie is the ending, because the ending literally is like one of the dumbest things I have ever seen. It literally makes no sense. Who thought the ending of the last episode was dumb and what Daenerys did in the last episode was dumb? You are literally going to walk out of John Wick 3 and be like, oh, maybe Game of Thrones isn't that bad now. Because this ending literally makes no sense. All this ending is is just set up for a fourth John Wick movie. What? Because what happens before this scene really kind of ended the series. But then there's this final scene that just feels tacked on. It feels out of left field. You make the argument that the ending of John Wick 2 feels the same way. But the thing is, is that John Wick made a decision at the end of 2. He's now He now realizes he has to go on the run. He realizes that his actions have consequences. And we get that cliffhanger ending. This movie has a cliffhanger it's just it doesn't in the grand scheme of things it doesn't really make sense i just felt that the ending wasn't earned at, at all in this movie i thought it was a really dumb ending unlike the ending to two which i felt its cliffhanger ending was earned with that with all that being said i'm gonna give john wick chapter three parabellum a A. one of my favorite movies of the year probably my favorite john wick movie this is a series in which each installment just outshines its predecessor. They said that this one wasn't gonna necessarily be bigger, but <laughs> I think it was, because there's a lot more action than there is in 2, so I think that's gonna please a lot of people who thought that 2 was a bit slow. Guys, thank you for watching my review of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Have you guys seen it? What were your thoughts on it? I want some feedback. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. I will also leave all my links to my social media accounts in the description below. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I'll see you at the movies somewhere. <laughs>